Hey guys, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. Today, I, or actually this weekend, I am working on three different plants here. So the one right behind me is a dwarf Shapovia. It has never done well here, and I'm gonna dig it up and move it to my place out at the West Virginia farm. Then I have two other plants that are, were not planted in the most opportune spots. I don't think that the new owners of this place, once we sell it, would keep it here. So I'm gonna, I need to trim them back because they're too big to take as they are. Trim them back and with the top and the bottom have it kind of an hourglass shape and I'll show that a little bit more when I get there and run them out to the farm as well and then the trimmings I take from that I will use as hardwood cuttings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig this one up right here. This one has never done well. The root system isn't very good. That's why I staked it up here. So I'm just gonna try to dig it up, see if it makes it. If it does, great. I'm happy. If it doesn't, I don't, I don't think it would have made it here anyhow. Uh, it just hasn't done well in the last three years. So we'll see how it does in the move. I'll go ahead and set up, dig this one up and then set up over in the other area. I think the Illinois Everbearing Mulberry is the next plant I'll do. So I will tune back in with you over there. Okay, I'm set up at the next one. Uh, this particular one is an Illinois Everbearing Mulberry and you can see it is quite tall. So what I want is an hourglass shape. So what, it's gonna have roots that are out like this. It has the trunk that's going up and then it's gonna spread out on the top. So I want the hourglass shape. And I won't know exactly how much to trim off the top until I dig up the roots. But if I leave too much on the top and don't dig up enough roots, it'll stress the plant and it will die. So I wanna get as close as I can to an hourglass shape. And like I say, I won't know exactly what I have until I actually dig this up. But for the most part, I'm gonna go ahead and trim a lot of this off right now. And again, these trimmings will actually be used for hardwood cuttings for later this year. So let me go ahead and get to digging. Well, I have to say I am completely worn out and this is nowhere near hourglass shape. You can see the ball here is a lot smaller than what's up on top. I can do a little more trimming up there, but I think I'm getting a little older than what I, what I think I am. So uh, I'm just gonna have to trim that back a little bit and hopefully save it again. It would have got cut down here anyhow from the new owners of this property just because of where it's at. So it had to come out and uh, hopefully it will survive. If not, let me pan over here. I have a lot of cuttings that I can do some hardwood cuttings on and hopefully get some and I'll figure out what root stock to graft it on. And uh, if I can get some growing, I, then I have plenty to graft. If not, I'll just have to buy another Illinois Everbearing Mulberry and do you go from there. Okay, I am out here at the farm and this is the Illinois Everbearing Mulberry. I trimmed up the top a good bit here, trying to get as close to an hourglass shape as I could. So I'm really pretty close. I did a little more, a lot more trimming on this than I had hoped to, but hopefully it will make it. And I'm gonna put it right in this hole right here. I'd put a willow in last year in the spring and then we had a drought. We didn't get rain for like two months and I wasn't out here enough. so. It just died from drought, so hopefully this one will fare better. So that's the hole that's going in. Oh, I had said earlier on in this video, yesterday when I started taking it, I was going to bring three plants out. This one right here about whooped my butt, so I only ended up getting two of them out. I'll Next time I come out, I'll get the third one out. So I just have this one and the Shapovia that I'll be putting in today. So this one's going in first right now. Okay, guys, the Illinois Everbearing Mulberry is in the ground and has been watered and I'll be out here for the next couple weekends in a row so I'll continue to water it make sure that if it settles I backfill and keep it at the level that it was before to keep it healthy so All right. and here the Shapovia is in the ground where the dwarf Shapovia or dwarf mountain ash is what it is and it's in the ground and watered uh, I just spotted this right here I did break off a twig so I'll go ahead and a pair of clippers and grab take care of that actually there's another one up on top so i need to take care of some of the broken stuff that some of the tips that broke off on the move out but hopefully this will make it if not like i say it was not doing well where it was the roots were kind of bunched up so i went ahead and spread them out some and hopefully this will make it so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and also check out our blog post on greatescapefarms.com thank you very much and have a great day